My heart, it hurts. Don't worry, buddy. We got the best surgeon coming in for the transplant. Okay, crack him open. Hasn't she done enough? Sorry, man. She's the boss! Man, that cartoon says it all. You are in such pain. No, ow, Chris, the only pain I'm feeling right now is because of you. Listen, surviving your first big breakup is one of the most devastating moments in a young man's life. That and finding out wrestling is fake. Well, thanks, but I'm fine. And if you keep touching me like that, I'm going to drop kick you. Al, don't go. I'm going to miss you so much. Snap out of it, Abernathy. You'll see her in 45 minutes. Uh, Mags, it's not permanent. I just need a break from all this. You mean him. Oh, can I borrow these? Yeah. Take them. Keep them. <laughs> Smash them. I don't care. Em, I've never seen you like this. Can I have this pen? It's all yours. Look, I just want to get this. Oh, I love these kind of notebooks. Take it. Hey, Em, I was thinking... Yeah, oh, keep it all. Okay? Enjoy me while I'm gone. No, oh, I just love a good falling out. So you think this uh, hole in the love boat will sink student bodies? Ma'am, we're taking all our Klingon invasions to destroy Kirk and his happy crew. <laughs> You know, you really don't uh, have to go. Well, I could use a little time away. No, Em, you know, let me go. Because uh, uh, I could use a break from the paper, and, uh, and Chris is really starting to scare me. No, no, no. The paper needs your cartoons. Besides, I could use a little space. Really? Really? Absolutely. <laughs> Wake up on your radio, 8 o'clock, it's time to go. Change your mind again on what to wear. Studied hard to make the grade, yesterday was all the same. Who knows what tomorrow has in store? You're no fool, you know this is the time of your life. You know the rules. When you jump, aim real high Together, friends, we'll stay strong We'll surrender this place when we're gone But for now, this is where we Enamel, you're on TV. <laughs> I have good news, people. We won. We won? We won? What did we win? <laughs> <clears throat> on behalf of the Pritzker Foundation for High School Journalism, we congratulate you on being selected from a national competition of entries. And on behalf of the student voice, I, Victor Kane, gladly accept this honor. <laughs> you didn't win this award, Victor. Huh? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Wait a second. Student bodies won a national award? That's, <laughs> That's incredible. <clears throat> so, who's the camera? Entertainment tonight? Hard copy? I'm from the Pritzker Foundation. Just make believe I'm not here. Oh, sure, I'll just pretend you're a transfer student from the Planet Camera Head. Get it, camera? <laughs> I need a minute alone here. Sorry, I have to document the whole day. Excuse me, I said I need a minute alone. Thank you. <laughs> okay, people, here's the deal. One, for their own strange reasons, the Pritzker Foundation thinks you're doing something original and fresh. <laughs> what? This, this rag? Fresh? Two, the school board and I like the recognition that we're getting, so I'll let you keep doing it. Oh, but Mrs. Morton, this is Three, total... The student voice is dead. You all work together now on student bodies. 
Wait, I, you're silencing my voice? Well, well, I'm not running student bodies. <laughs> That's right, Victor, you're not. Emily is. What? I'm in charge? Officially? Officially. For now on, what you say goes. Her in charge of them? Of me? That's right, Victor. Kind of a kick in the butt, isn't it? That wasn't quite the body part I was imagining. I have no choice. I, I officially quit. Come on, Flash. Hold on, Victor. Here's the kicker. To guarantee we stay in the graces of the Pritzker Foundation, you are all assigned student bodies as your sixth period class. You quit your job, you flunk. Oh, for the camera, just be yourselves. So, when do we start, boss? You really have to follow me all day? My job is to document a day in the life of student bodies. And since your cartoons are the glue, you're my focus. Great, my own private real world. Tell me the truth, do I have a, a good side? Why don't you just tell me how the paper got started? I don't know. It just sort of happened. Really? I would have thought it began with your cartoons. That's the unique part. Yeah, I guess they are kind of unique. Well, let me see. By the way, what is this documentary going to be rated? Beats me. Why? Because uh, right now I have to boldly go where no camera crew has gone before, and I really like to keep it that way. Hello. Oh. Hi. I'm Grace Vasquez. You know, out there with Grace. I write the astrology column. And I do the hot or not. I'm Mags. Actually, Mags Abernathy. But I'm thinking of sticking to that whole one name Madonna thing. Did I mention I also sing? I understand student bodies all began with Cody's cartoons. Well, I guess you could look at it that way. Chris? Yeah? Busy? <laughs> what do you think? This whole combining the papers thing is pretty weird, huh? Now, which part? All working together or all working for Emily? I told you before, Emily and I are fine. Sure. You say that now, but wait until she starts to get back at you. Wait until you do something totally normal and she flips out. It's not gonna happen. Oh, yeah? Wake up and smell reality. She's your boss now. She's in the power seat. And you're, well... You know where you're sitting. And that was way before I even joined the paper. So the paper exists because of Emily? Well, she's the one who organized the whole thing. I mean, without Emily, we never would have won the award. I see. So my cartoons are like, what exactly? Filler for Emily's brilliantly numbered pages? Uh, we gotta go. Hello, I'm Chris Shepard, the heart, soul, and lungs of student bodies. Lungs? So that means what? You give out all the assignments for student bodies? Mm, not exactly. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Emily's job. Okay, so you edit the paper. <laughs> Emily does that, too. Okay. So what exactly is it you do? I do a little of everything. <laughs> uh, well, Chris, Chris is the, uh, he's the, uh, the big picture guy. You know, he's the one who, uh, <laughs> you know, the, he, uh, actually, he's, he's the one who stole my drawings, which put student bodies on the map. Yeah, I put student bodies on the map. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Don't touch me. That's a nice camera. Thanks. But we were talking about you. Right. Well, I'm Flash, and I take pictures. You used to work for the student voice. Yeah, used to. 
I'm a point-and-shoot mercenary. I don't care who I take pictures for, as long as they supply the film. <laughs> so, what would you say the zoom length is on that baby? Well, this? Oh, wow. Uh, 20 to 1. Really? On that itty-bitty little thing. Watch this. I can get so close, I can play connect the dots with his dandruff. <laughs> so tell me. Congratulations. you just been flashed. Thanks. Why don't we get the meeting started? <laughs> First of all, I've thought about it all morning, and I really don't think anything's going to be different now that I'm in charge. <laughs> Except I won't have time to write my help me column, so, Victor, it's all yours. What? I, I'm expected to write advice for total losers? Look at the bright side, Victor. At least you won't have to answer all the ones you sent in. <laughs> and my mother hates me. Oh, and my brother reads my diary. Oh, and never had a real kiss. Huh? <laughs> Help me! Back to business. Flash, I know that you just joined us here at Student Bodies, but I was wondering... Pictures of last night's Student Council debacle. The last one shows cleavage. And yes, Shepard, I made you an extra set. <laughs> for my impeccably organized files. On to the cover. Cody, this is uh, really fun, except for one part. <clears throat> yeah, what uh, part? Fasten your seatbelt. <clears throat> well, uh, I think we can still be cutting edge without having to be so blatantly gross. Let's all play eyeball! Gross. Oh, <laughs> I get it. So you think just because suddenly you're in charge, I'm going to become the type of guy who changes things just because some ex-girlfriend says to? Cody. Look, I draw the cartoons the way I want to. Eyeballs popping and all. Now, I don't know if you're planning to run all over everybody else here, but you are not running all over me, okay? I'm the cartoonist, got it? I'm the glue. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the boss. And guess what? You're fired. What? Meeting adjourned. Well, I'm fi I'm fired. You can't fire glue. Can you? Overreact much? <laughs> Pardon us. Now, you see what happens when power is abused? People get hurt. Oh, and that's what I'm going to miss the most. In fact, I... Hold that thought. Mm, Got to change tapes. What? Sorry. No, wait. No, I was just getting started. I... I no, come on. What was that? What was what? Cody, you just jumped all over Emily like she shot your dog. I don't have a dog. It's a metaphor. Your cover is the dog. Oh, great. So now you're attacking me, too. Well, sorry. Last I checked, you can only fire someone once. Emily wasn't attacking you. She was doing her job, the same job she's always done. Oh, right. So, like, she's always criticized my work? <laughs> well, fine, yes, she has always criticized my work. But, hey, it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Listen, I know you say you're fine with this breakup thing, but I think you've got some leftover stuff to work out. Both of you. Think about it. Before I get you a dog, and shoot it. I fired him. That cannot be a sign of good management skills, can it? I mean, what's wrong with me? You made a mistake. What? That's right, Miss Roberts. Even you make mistakes. Now you have to fix it. Great. I resign. Great. You flunk. Let me rethink that. 
Wait a second. You want me to apologize to that arrogant idiot? Of an ex-boyfriend? <laughs> Miss Roberts, you can run. I know, but I can't hide. No, no, you can't hide. That's my point. Hiding is easy. <clears throat> Sometimes fun. But if you're dodging a bullet because of something between you and your personal life, then you might be making decisions for all the wrong reasons. So what are you saying? I should stick by my mistakes? Try and patch things up? Join the witness protection program? What? Look, I'm not saying anything. Like I told you earlier, what you say goes. You're the boss. And trust me, it feels good to be the boss. Hi, I'm Dino. Nachos, half price, with every soft drink. So come on down, today. It's nice. That's uh, Dino. That's a good coffee, by the way. I'd buy you one, but uh, <clears throat> you look kind of busy, which is something I'm not going to be anymore, but hey, uh, early retirement suits me, don't you think? Did you ever work on the paper here? Right, the paper. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's uh, always an idea zoning out around here somewhere. <laughs> there's one. Mmm, the subtle aroma of Sumatra. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> and this over here is my friend, Romeo. So. Hello, Romeo Carter. And I know what you're thinking. What's an A-class guy like me doing hanging around a B like Cody? Cut. Lighten up, man. I'm on a roll. The way I see it, every gang needs the full complement of grades. And like I said, I'm the A. Cody, here's the B. And have you met Shepard? Yes. Yes. He's the C and the D. Of course, Romeo here grades on a curve. Uh, could I get you another espresso, sir? Absolutely. So, Romeo, do you work for student bodies, too? Well, I'm not technically on staff, but I do contribute the occasional article. You know, music review, that kind of thing. But the emotional anxiety down there is way too deep for me. Do you think they can all work in the same office? You ever seen a caged death match? Ooh, and you must have heard about Emily firing Cody. What? Man, that office is muddier than Dawson's Creek. Let's go. She fired you? Whew. It was bad enough she didn't do the I love you back thing. But canning your bony butt. That girl got it in for you. <clears throat> Fade to black. Please. Don't do that. Emily, there you are. Look, I have a huge favor. You do? What? Just put me out of my misery. Fire me, too. Gee, thanks, Victor. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Oh, I'm sorry, I know. You're just another innocent victim. But you get promoted, and I'm roadkill. Now, uh, I fired the cartoonist. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah. Look, you're in charge now. You acted tough. That's not so bad. We'll see about that. I called another staff meeting, but I'm not sure anyone's going to show up. I did. You respect me? Are you kidding? I just want to be close when you take the big fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You all probably hate me. Oh, I'm sorry, Em. That was my I hate Victor stare. My aim's a little off. Here's my hot or not. You were right. It stuck. I didn't say that. Emily, I know your style. When you say something isn't great, you're saying it stinks in a nice way. Sorry. Don't be. We like your style. Yeah, but I fired Cody. Yeah. Great move. He totally deserved it. I mean, he jumped all over you. I would have fired him, too. But I don't have the power anymore. Well, we'll have no more cartoons. 
Get over it. He'll be back. He's got no other place to hang out. That's not exactly true. I could go to the station, but uh, Dino cuts me off after five espressos. By the way, is the uh, whole room vibrating, or is that just me? Can I have a minute here, please? Sure. I need another battery anyway. Look, I'm sorry. I fired you. I blew up at you. Any chance that makes us even? Am I rehired? Yes. Doesn't make us even. Something hard to get? Uh, no, Em, look, I'm, I am sorry that I went off on you, but you, you, you fired your cartoonist. That just can't help you keep putting out a Pritzker-worthy paper. All right. What do I have to do to get you back? On student bodies. Right. Well, uh, you really want to know? Yes. Shoulders is shoulders. You're going to have to rub my shoulder. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there. It's nice being the glue. Yes, but it's better being the boss. Like collecting hard-to-find, one-of-a-kind stuff? Then look no further. A 1941 Jaime Escobar baseball card. Boy, I'm priceless. Chris Shepard's fourth-grade retainer. Fit included. And the very last edition of the Student Voice newspaper. No, no, they've killed my baby! <laughs> Ow. I think I'm gonna like being the boss. <laughs> I knew you would. A dark power is about to rise in Sunnydale, again. Buffy the Vampire Slayer's deadly new season begins tomorrow night at 7 on YTV.